Centuries ago, many ambitious explorers set sail along the rugged, undiscovered coastline of dark, mysterious Africa, their expeditions fueled by their desire to discover riches beyond the worlds they've known before. Namibia's history tells its own tale of those who anchored in its bays. Some were fortunate in their quest, others not. Today, Namibia not only thrives on the discoveries of its richest inland, but the fishing grounds along the Namibian coast resulted in a flourishing fishing industry that is considered one of the largest contributors to the country's GDP. One of the key players in sourcing the ocean's tradable and consumable resources is Namsar Fishing Enterprises. As an operating company of Bidvest Fisheries Holdings, Bidfish, the holding company of the fish division of Bidvest Namibia, Namsov has been prominent in the Namibian fishing industry for more than two decades now. The company was established in 1990 to localize and develop the foreign-dominated midwater trawl industry. Namsov regards itself as a proud corporate citizen with a vision to excel at developing the Namibian private sector and contribute towards the socio-economic development of the country. Namsov is committed to channel and coordinate resources and stakeholders for the sustainable development of opportunities from all walks of life. Namsov fishes for horse mackerel in Namibia's exclusive economic zone. As a responsible corporate citizen, the company complies with the stipulations of the fishing right granted to it, as well as the regulations of the Marine Resources Act, Act 27 of 2000. Fishing is conducted in a system where the biomass is assessed on an annual basis. With more than 20 commercial species harvested, Namibia's fishing industry is managed through setting total allowable catches and allocating quotas to right holders. Namsoft strictly abides by these regulations to ensure sustainable harvesting of fishing resources. The total allowable catch is divided into individual quotas that are awarded to the various holders of the rights to harvest horse mackerel. Namsoff is a large supplier of quality horse mackerel to its West African market and the Sadek region. Here, in these markets, the Namsoff brand is well recognized and remains the preferred quality product supplier. Namsoff penetrated the Far East and Southern African markets through its produce of high-quality fish meal and fish oil. The success of Namsoff is further strengthened by the collective operations of the Namsoff group of companies supplying various markets with products ranging from frozen horse mackerel, canned pulchards, other canned products, fish meal, fish oil and oysters. Six subsidiaries are managed by Namsoff and are known as the Namsoff group of companies. These are Trachurus Fishing, Tofika Fishing Enterprises, Namibian Sea Products, Namsi, Tetelis Thai Mariculture, Karapal Fishing, and Namsoff Industrial Properties. Tofika Fishing Enterprises is holder of a monk fishing right and the beneficiary of annual monk quotas. Namsoff partnered with Labor Investment Holdings to establish Tofika. Namibian Sea Products, Namsi, conducts operations under United Fishing Enterprises and is active in the inshore small pelagic fishing industry. It facilitates canning and the processing of fish meal and fish oil. Tetelis Thai is an oyster producing company based in Valfas Bay. Under the brand name Tetelis Thai, fresh and frozen oysters are exported to regional markets and to those as far as the Far East. Food connoisseurs rate Tetelis Thai oysters as the best in the world. Export markets include Namibia, South Africa and China. Namsoff continuously explores new avenues for growth. Through securing a significant stake and management control in Presca Fresca, Namsoff expanded its operations to Angola. Presca Fresca is engaged in the small pelagic fishing industry, mainly catching and processing sardinella and horse mackerel. It supplies local markets with fish meal. Fish oil is expected to be exported to the Far East and Southern Africa in future. With its revenue generated through its current operations and supply and export of products to all its markets, Namsoff is a solid contributor to the Namibian economy with over 140 million Namibian dollars in expenditure on an annual basis. Between the Namsoff and Namsi groups, more than 429 million Namibian dollars had been paid in taxes to the Namibian fiscus between 1990 and December 2011. 
Mamsoft created employment for 664 individuals and 264 of these employees are seconded to Trachurus, a joint venture company managed by Namsov. Namsov remains the biggest employer of seamen in Namibia, with 160 Namibian onshore employees and 290 Namibian crew. 400 of its crew are recruited from foreign countries. The success of Namsov rides on its daily operations. Namsov's engagement in the horse mackerel industry enables at least 2.5 million people living on one US dollar per day to have access to nutritional fish every day. Horse mackerel is a valuable food source due to its high content of omega-3. At the core of the Namsov operations are its seamen. Their safety and security is of high priority. Strict measures are in place on board all Namsov vessels. Its technical team is meticulous in their preparation before vessels set out to sea. Namsoft does not commercialize its bycatch and strict quality control measures are in place. The Directorate of Operations in the Ministry of Fisheries Overseas monitors and controls fishing activities in the exclusive economic zone. Inspectors are deployed on fishing vessels, harbors and processing plants. Approximately 160,000 tons of fish is caught on an annual basis. Fish is then sold fresh or as frozen products to Namsov's African and global markets. Frozen horse mackerel is sold as a valuable source of protein to West Africa and other countries in the Sadiq region. Both Namsov and Namsi process damaged, undersized or industrial fish into fish meal and fish oil. Fish meal is processed in a steam-dried process. Due to the speed from catch to processing, fish meal has exceptional freshness and is utilized for feed in aquacultures and ruminants such as piglets. Products are sold under the Namsoft and United Fishing brands to the DRC, Mozambique and the Far East, especially Chinese markets. Fewer quantities are sold to South Africa and Namibia. The cannery of United Fishing processes poached into canned fish. Hake and snook are processed into pickled fish, curried fish and smurf snook. Ocean Fresh is a label owned by United Fishing and is the brand under which canned products are sold. An estimate 95% of canned poached is sold to South Africa and the remainder to the Namibian market. Some retailers like ShopRite and Spa purchase canned poached to sell under their house brand names. But United Fishing also makes sales to the public, wholesalers and retailers at competitive prices through its fish shop situated at its factory's main gate. Canned fish products, frozen horse mackerel, fresh and frozen oyster and other frozen sea products, fish meal and fish oil are sold at the fish shop. Through its fish distribution project, Namsoff is promoting the selling of horse mackerel in rural Namibia. Namsoff partnered with Equal Investments and invested approximately 3 million Namibian dollars in fridges, scales and vehicles to sustain the project. More than 1,000 employment opportunities were created for rural Namibians. From its establishment in 1990 to date, Namsoff has strongly anchored itself in the Namibian fishing waters. Today, Namsoff owns three mid-water troll vessels and co-owns two more in the joint venture company Trachurus Fishing. The market value of its vessels are estimated in excess of 750 million Namibian dollars. Namsoft's full asset base amounts to around 796 million Namibian dollars debt-free. The financial turnaround of two of Namsoft subsidiaries, NAMC United Fishing and Tetelestai Mariculture, is proof of Namsoft's relentless efforts to excel at all levels of its business operations. It has also significantly changed the employment landscape for Namibians on sea. Namsoft was the first to introduce Namibian crew on mid-water troll vessels. It brought foreign trainers to design, compile and conduct industry-specific training to the mid-water troll industry. All its subsidiaries own and operate their own vessels in the different sectors of the industry. The same applies to its shore-based operational premises. Namsoft believes in investing in its people. Employees are continuously empowered through Namsoft's development and training initiatives. Financial assistance is also granted for individuals who wish to further themselves through self-study. 
NAMSOF is also the biggest provider of sites to NAMFI cadets for sea time training in the industry under the auspices of the Ministry of Works, Transport and Communications Directorate of Maritime Affairs. Through this program, Namibian crew is equipped with the necessary competencies to become officers on board the Namibian fishing fleet. Practical training for these cadets is conducted on board the NAMSOF vessels. In line with its vision statement of being committed to socio-economic development in Namibia, NAMSOF has created its Community Trust. The NAMSOF Community Trust is a 10% shareholder of the company and embraces the values of being thoughtful in its actions, energetic in efforts and inspired in giving. Economic development, education, social services, health and environmental programs are run under the NAMSOF Community Trust. This confirms that NAMSOF is a company that remains invested in a Namibia that can accelerate in growth by growing its people. After riding its success wave for more than two decades, NAMSOF is set to continue its quest for prosperity through creating vast opportunity for expansion across all sectors, fishing, processing and distribution. It is NAMSOF's aim to sustain its business, the Namibian community and the Namibian people. NAMSOF is not just a company set to achieve multiple successes in the running of its operations and turnover, but it is a company that is proudly Namibian, a company that gives, that builds and that cares.